Now in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to hire a product line owner to your business. And by the, by the way, guys, this is just an overview. I'm not gonna go really deep on this because it can, you know, I can build a whole course or a whole module around that area here. But basically, I'm gonna give you just really good tips how to start hiring product line owners to your business. And so let's lay out the big picture of hiring product line owner. First, you have a traffic, right? Traffic people who could be the product line owners for your business, right? And now you need to create a job advert, like advertisement on online jobs, PH, if you want people from Philippines. But there are places where you can create job advertisements, right? Even on your Facebook, right? And the, the job advert has to be specific on who you are looking for and what is that you're looking for from these people, right? And this is the called scorecard, which we're gonna speak later in the next video. So in that job advertisement, you have a link to an application form. And the application form is just a Google form where you can ask some, some questions about the person, right? And you can find about, ask about their history, why they want to join, some questions about the culture fit, their mindset, right? What type of type of person you're looking for. And um, again, after they submit that application form, there will be a pop-up window where you will ask them to send a video of themselves introducing themselves to you and why they want to join and why would you want them to join uh, your business. And of course, you want to ask them also to send a, a CV to your email, okay? Now, when you receive an email and that email has um, an introduction video, CV, you know that this person already filled out application form. So you can go into the application form and read whatever is there, uh, look at the video, look at CV, and then you can decide, do you want to have the first interview with the person? And this is just like first touch the ground interview where you speak, you know, to talk with the person, get to know the person. And it's not about finding out any skills that person yet has, but it's more about like, like trying to find out, is this person like fit with you? Does the person really fits working with you? Uh, and for us, for example, for me, it's important that I will find out that the person is responsible person, right? They don't blame and show fingers all the time. And also that the person is a re reliable person. Like I want to know how long usually they have been working in companies before, right? If you see the person is jumping from company to company last five years, well, obviously it's a danger sign, right? So that's the first interview. We find out the more about the person. Now you're going to give them an exam. And this is where most of them may be going to fail. Uh, you can also do exam immediately after application form, but remember, if you don't talk to the people, then, then most of them may not even do exam because they might think that it's a scam, like the whole job is a scam, right? So it's also good always to talk to the people and decide, okay, I'm gonna give you exam. And for product line owners, exam can be really simple. It can be perfect product blueprint, or keyword research, for example. And you don't need to give them how to do those stuff, like, like keyword research. They can find out themselves and submit you some sort of keyword research. You know, the point of the, of the exam is to find out people's resourcefulness, ability to Google, acquire information themselves, and being innovative, innovative thinker, thinking are outside the box, right? trying to figure out how to present those things to you. And presentation skill and being organized skill is also extremely important because when you wanna work with people who are resourceful, fast, and organized with information uh, in your business. Now, after they have sent you back the exam and you have validated this, you may want to give another exam. I usually, you know, if you want to, like I said, keyword research and product blueprint, perfect exams. Cool. So when you are, when you like those exams, the results of these exams, you can have the second interview where you now you 
have decided or will decide want to hire this person or not. And now you negotiate the salary, the terms and stuff like that. And when you are confident, then of course you sign a contract and you hire and onboard that person to your business. Now let's lay out some good indicators, uh, things that I've been noticing on hiring uh, all these people during the last five years. First of all, when you give them uh, an exam, like uh, you give them instructions, right? The first indicator uh, that always is good to see that the person really is following your instructions uh, word by word, not ignoring them and bringing you back something completely different. This is first really, really good indicator of a good person. The second is about speed. They do it pretty fast. I mean, good people always they do it pretty fast. They don't wait for a week or something to get it done. They do it in one, two days. Now, the third one is about resourcefulness, like the, how good is that information they bring back to you? Are they able to Google? Are they able to be innovative on finding solutions and answers by themselves? And are they actually over delivering uh, by surprising you with some sort of extra information that can be helpful on that topic, right? And lastly, it's about being organized, how they bring back you the information, how they organize this information for you to be able to read and consume that information fast, right? So if they are sloppy, bringing you back some sloppy table where you, have, you don't understand anything, right? Then obviously they, you know, being sloppy on uh, working online is really, really bad indicator. So these are the the features I have found been really helpful when you hire people to your business.